KPRC2 is your vaccine central. We are following in new developments on a trial underway at Texas Children's Hospital. Children under two years old are now getting doses of Pfizer's COVID vaccine. Texas Children's Hospital is one of six locations across the country with trials like this now underway. Our Haley Hernandez is the only TV health reporter in our area and is joining us live with the details on this new trial. Haley? Yeah, actually there aren't many institutions worldwide doing this kind of work. At Texas Children's, they are in phase one, but if all goes right, they could have results by the end of the year and begin vaccinating as young as six months old. Nathan is a happy, playful 16-month-old, but like most kids his age, the majority of his life has been during the pandemic, and in Nathan's case, mostly in isolation. I made the decision because Nathan was at two, three months at the time to um, live apart from the family for two months. Mom Tal Galvan is a doctor at Texas Children's and has been very concerned about her children being exposed to the virus. She knows from working at the hospital that kids are not immune to complications of COVID. And after weighing all the pros and cons of enrolling her baby into a vaccine trial, she decided to do it. I've been advocating for my family, my friends, my um, patients to get vaccinated. So with that audacity and that conviction, I felt like we should feel comfortable making sure our kids were vaccinated. She worked with pediatric infectious disease Dr. Flor Munoz, who has spent more than 25 years studying vaccines and is confident they will find a way to provide immunity to babies. Clearly, you only would do this type of study if you know or believe that there will be a benefit. She says because the virus continues to threaten our community and won't ever go away, it's important to protect younger patients as soon as possible. They can still carry the virus and pass it to other people. Dr. Galvan said she is happy that her child could be paving the way for kids everywhere to have their shot at COVID protection. My hope is that, you know, because I'm walking the same talk, that people will be encouraged to feel safe about getting the vaccine if and when it becomes available. This young age group could be eligible for a vaccine in the next year. There are also trials happening now in kids 12 and older. The results for that are actually expected kind of soon. So kids 12 and up could be getting vaccinated in the next several months, guys. So why weren't kids already included in the clinical trials, Haley? It is very typical that a drug has to be proven safe in adults first. Um, then researchers start studies in kids. They start off with a very small number of children, and those children are studied for years to monitor how long antibodies are present. Uh, they also keep daily diaries. So this is a big commitment and takes a lot of dedication to be part of this. But it is typical that kids are not part of trials first, that it's typically adults and then children. All right, Haley, thanks for clearing that up for us.